Okay, so now we're going to do the European style. I'm so proud of you guys. You've been doing great. All right, let's pick up your utensils. Index fingers in place. And we're cutting. This is our European demonstration. We're finished cutting that piece. Rest the wrist and pivot. Good job. Let's cut another piece. Finish cutting that piece. Rest the wrist. Lower the knife a little and pivot. Good. Now let's get something soft on the back. Squash, mashed potato, anything. And we're scooping it onto the back. Great job. We're finished with that. Rest your wrist and pivot. Good. Let's get some more on the back. Something soft. Rest your wrist and pivot. Do we ever place our hands in our lap in European style? No. All right. So we always put our wrists at the edge of the table, right? All right. Let's get some spoon, some uh, rice on our fork. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's rest the wrist and pivot that into our mouth. Great job. Do that again for me. Rest your wrist and pivot. Good job. Now let's say you want to get a drink of uh, whatever is in your water goblet. How do you place your utensils? What's the pause position? Upside down V, fork facing downward, and you can go ahead and get a drink. Or if you have to leave the table or something, making sure that your hands are on the edge of the table. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're finished. Let's place our utensils in the finished position, European style. Excellent. Face the fork always facing downward. Great job. Woo! Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> to do it European style. Let's pick up our utensils, making sure our index fingers are in place. It's really important about the index fingers. And we're cutting. Let's cut a piece of chicken breast. Once we're finished, European style, we pivot that piece into our mouth. Let's pivot it, pivot, okay? We cut again, and we pivot. Pivot that piece into your mouth. Young man, just pivot that piece. It doesn't need to anymore. No, you're doing American style because you're not paying attention. We're doing European style. Yeah. Okay, so we cut that piece, give it that piece in your mouth. Great job. All right. And we scoop it. Scoop it onto the back of the floor. And we pivot. You're doing it. Yes, we scoop it on the back. And then we pivot it in your mouth. Let's scoop some more mashed potato on the back. Young lady, I need you to do it. rice on it. Place your fork down on the on the plate flat. Then you scoop the rice onto the fork. No, guys, you're making that noise on purpose. I just know you are. We're finished cutting that piece. We pivot into our mouths, okay? And we pivot. And we're cutting again. Like this. And we pivot, okay? This, I love this song. This yeah. Song. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so less complicating and it's so cute. <laughs> okay? Now, we want to scoop some mashed potato on the back of our fork. Scoop it. And we pivot. Beautiful job, ladies. Now, if, we're, if you're having rice, there, you definitely can't do that, yes. okay? Yeah. So you place your fork down and you scoop. Make sure the knife is at the front of the fork, not the back. We scoop it on and pivot it, okay? All right, ladies? All right, let's do the routine. Ready? Pick up your utensils. Index fingers in place, and we're cutting. We're 
sloping. Pivot in and we're cutting and we pivot. Let's put some mashed potato on the side, on the back. Enjoy and we pivot. We're putting some rice on the fork. Press it down and we scoop it out. Uh, Rita, I need you to go in front of the fork. Oh, like facing you, yes. And you scoop it that way. Good. And then you give it. Good. We're finished dining. That was delicious. Yes, it was. Okay. We're finished dining.